Welcome to SML Live. I'm Primetime Triple Zero, joined by It's the Foz. How's it going, sir? Hey, it's going pretty good. Uh, nice long weekend here. Excited for some SML action tonight. It should be a fun game. Wow, Faz battling the sickness. If you guys haven't noticed, he's he's making it through it. Um, so we had, hey. we had flu game on uh, on SML the Gauntlet. We got flu game and SML Live. It's just all the flu's going around for all the, uh, the flu's. SML content these days. All the flu's going around. Speaking of flu sickness um you know what's sick is um i was trying to come up with something creative but yeah it's actually this game the jets and the uh steelers what just a sick cool game we've got owen three versus owen three someone's O has gotta go yeah the uh the sick is is really what you know is the passing numbers here through uh Three games, each guy. They've both got eight picks. DW has one touchdown on the season uh, through the oh air. So he's got a, a cool one to eight passing ratio with Zach Wilson. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, the Pittsburgh Steeler, which I still have not adjusted to, slightly better at seven touchdowns and eight picks. So, uh, you know, the passing numbers, they'll make you sick, but this should be a, an entertaining game. We have two strong defenses. And I have a feeling we're going to see plenty more turnovers tonight. Yeah, I expect the same. And to tell you the truth, you know, Colt 45 made that big trade. He took the Steelers, you know, just about a week ago today almost, honestly. And um, look, here's the deal. His division is not the toughest division. Fins is leading that division. Um, and if he can get a win here, he could possibly get a season on track and try to make a push at this division with Trevor at the helm. Yeah, he's got the team for it. He's got some pieces. Uh, I did like the trade for Trevor. I know that he he gave up a lot, um, but he gets back Trevor. He gets back Foye Luakun, who's a, a good replacement for Devin Bush in the middle. Great linebacker core with with uh, Foye, Miles Jack, uh, T.J. Watt, obviously. So this is a uh, this is a team that really can make some noise, and it's in a division with a lot of winnable games. I don't think he's played Finns yet, so that will be a uh, that will be a big one for him. But uh, I'm I'm curious to see what he can do. Yeah, if you're looking at the stats here for Colt 45, it's obvious. I mean, he throws the ball to his tight end more than anybody else. I mean, Pat, yeah. Pat Fairmuth, he's got 21 catches. The next guy on his team has 12, and the next guy after that has four. So if you're if you're Death Wish, you got to think, hey, I just got to take away the tight end up the middle and George Pickens, and, and Colt can't. Re uh, well, I guess never mind. Uh, actually, Neon doesn't really sort it by receptions it's actually they're spread out a little more than i thought and the receivers and running backs and stuff so either way colt 45 i think if he's gonna win this game he's gonna have to throw it to more than just his tight end he's gonna have to spread the wealth a little bit yeah and i do have to correct myself he did actually play fins in week one lost that game 31 19 uh, but he will have another crack at him later in the season the thing with these guys is they both have a tendency to get uh get predictable as you pointed out obviously firemuth uh leads this team in receptions by a pretty fair amount dw has kind of the same tendency where he can lock in on one guy uh, his leading receiver in catches is uh, elijah moore with nine he's been balanced but he wants to run the ball and uh he can get kind of locked in uh, at, at times and that's something that is really a downfall for him and it can be for colt like we said these guys have two strong defenses so it'll be curious to see which one of them kind of takes away the other's uh, preferred guy better than the other so thinking about this game um who do you think is going to win at the end of the day when the dust is settled which player is going to go out on top dw is obviously my boy i think right now i have to go with colt uh dw is kind of spiraling a little bit he's just i mean like i said with zach wilson uh one touchdown to eight picks yeah uh, he's only right. got one touchdown with with Brees hall i mean he has two touchdowns on the season um Three, I guess, looks like he has one, maybe two defensive. Uh, but two offensive touchdowns in the season, that's just not going to get it done against the team with with Watt and Minka. Um, I think he's going to need just a, a better show in here today. We haven't quite seen it yet. So uh, I think right now I've got Colt in the driver's seat. Yeah. Well, I, I think so too. But I will say this. If DW goes back to how I taught him, he can get on a win streak. He took this Jets team. I don't know. Here's the deal. I think he was listening to Bombers hype on this Jets team. I don't think he should have taken them. I don't think that this is a good team for him to take, honestly. He's better off sticking with the Bills or taking a team like the uh, Bengals or somebody who 
is, is a little bit easier to pass with because he he can be Death Wish can be a dynamic passer, but yeah, with this with this Jets team, it's it's not as easy as just pick up a controller and go. I mean, you have to dev up this roster, and I don't know if this is a great fit for him. I don't know if this uh, the Thanos Club tried to influence him to take this team, but I, I don't think it was a great fit for him. Yeah, this is a team that he really likes. He really enjoyed them pre bloop in Madden 22. And I think he was upset that he didn't get a full cycle with them. And he was he was pretty set on going Jets. He kind of told us from the start um, that, you know, he was going Jets all the way since he knew Bomber was leaving. Um, hmm. I don't think he factored in the type of adjustment it would be going from Josh Allen to Zach Wilson, uh, going from the Bills defense to the Jets defense, uh, going from Stefan Diggs to not Stefan Diggs. There, yeah. There's a lot to adjust to. And I think he's seeing it early that this is a very different beast than he had in uh in Buffalo. Yeah, for sure. Um, Fifty one percent completion percentage, one touchdown, eight interceptions, and a forty four quarterback rating. Um, those are not the, ideal. Those are the numbers <laughs> you would expect of a uh, you know a pee wee quarterback throwing and 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 J or in varsity or something. You know, not not what we expect of Death Wish, one of the best passers the SNL has ever seen. Um, but regardless, we're about two minutes away from. Uh, kick off. We're gonna let them know they can kick off. Uh, you can ready up and kick off. So we're just moments away from these guys taking the field. Is there any other SML news you want to talk about? Um, and Noel just seen my comment. Uh, he's like, "Oh, what?" But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, seeing who's paying attention. Um, any other league news you want to talk about? I know there was the allegations against Doink and his trading. We're not going to talk about that because I don't think that's an allegation at this point. Uh, I think it's just fact. But anything else? Yeah, I think that's mostly just point proven. Yeah, um, yeah. I I know it was coined a narrative, but you can't just coin everything a narrative. There, there's When everybody thinks it, it's the truth. Uh, the truth. Polly, I'm head tapping. I'm going to do a mic tap for you. I see uh, Meats in chat, Noel, Fins. What do you want to talk about, Faz? We got a minute or so. I'll give I'll give one more shout out to Mike FML. You know, I think some people see trade with Prime and immediately are like, "Oh, awful idea, terrible. What are you doing? You're an idiot." Mm -hmm. I like that move for Mike. Uh, he got established players. Yes, he moved first round picks, but I think that Mike saw wild card spots open in the NFC, and he saw a division that is not unwinnable. Well, that's a lie. Uh, Accused in there, whoa, so that, that's unwinnable. Whoa, 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 but that's <laughs> yeah, that's unwinnable. Um, but I think he saw wild card spots in the, uh, in the NFC and he figured, you know what? I'm going to shoot my shot. I'm not going to worry about the crap shoot in the draft. I'm going to get some guys that are going to help me and I'm going to go for this thing. And I respect that. I love that. Yeah. I respect it too. And uh, I actually respect Q. Uh, it sounds like that's going to be another topic. It is Q dead. We'll talk about that later. I'm still, on. Get, I'm still getting used to the, the new divisions. Okay. I knew that the other guys in there were not super crazy good and it yeah. i forgot about q okay just forgive me it, yeah. it happened i'm sick man hey i'm sick too uh i respect q you're always sick i respect mike i respect jets and steelers which have kicked off and um hey death wish is gonna get the ball we talked a lot of it a lot about his offense sucking well he's getting the ball in the rain um uh, they're calling this game the o bowl because no team has uh uh anything besides an o on their record right now because they I haven't won a game because they suck right now. Yeah, and I think this is kind of a good thing for DW. Um, the rain doesn't help, but I think this could be a nice little confidence booster drive. Get yourself a, a lead early, run the ball, establish that, and hopefully dig yourself out of the gutter here. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for both these guys. They're both likable guys. And Death Wish, Death Wish, if he can, especially at the end of the free blip, he was really starting to get it together, in my opinion. Yeah, he was. The blip really really hurt him uh he was playing some great football he was pushing to win a division with bomber in it um i believe when we blipped he was in first place yeah or very close to it yeah for sure is now here's the first pass it's complete that's the death wish we used to see breaks the tackle and he gets down about one yard short so uh and hey meets makes an interesting uh you know note here he says namath era uniforms on the jets interesting that's true. I didn't even notice that actually. Um, looks like uh, bringing the blitz here from the oh, Steelers. Oh, nice blitz! Stopped Hall short. I believe that was the DW blitz. Was that the deep? No, no, it wasn't. Uh, his, it wasn't. Uh, uh, his, his is like Sam Will or something, right? Or, yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike Will, Mike, Mike Will blitz. Will. So DW punting on the first drive, and here's our first look now 
assuming we know Colt's going to return this. And he's going out left here to the 20. Makes a nice juke move. Gets down to the 25. Here's Trevor Lawrence in a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey. A lot of people heard about this trade. Probably not a lot of people have seen it, actually. So this is our first look. Yeah, and I still don't love it. Uh, I do like that a Jaguars fan does have Trevor Lawrence. That makes it a little better to look at, but it, it doesn't look great. Here he is, number 16, running a read option the first play. Buckle up, fans. Oh, Lawrence man. pitches it to Najee Harris, and he gets tackled. Again, a two. All things considered, <laughs> not as bad as it could have been. It mm -mm. looked like that play was going to get blown up immediately. You ever notice, uh, I think they did it this past offseason, it's no longer Heinz Field. It's like Azure Stadium or something stupid. Yeah, they, they changed the name, and I don't love it. Nice. I think he actually had square open. Uh, he threw the other corner out. We're going to watch the instant replay if we can here. Yeah, I believe the left side corner was much more open than that. Take a look at this left side corner. He yeah. kind of squats yep. down here, and then he just throws the right side instead. But that's why that's part of the reason why Colt hasn't won a game yet. Just sometimes inconsistent reads. Hopefully he can work on that. Back to throw here, looking. Takes a nice check down. Breaks the tackles, Najee Harris. Breaks another tackle, Najee Harris. And he gets a, you know, inside the 45-yard line. Nice play there. Yeah, you love to see the uh, run after catch ability there. Uh, Najee, not easy to bring down in the open field. Uh, if you get separation like that, you're going to take it. So, um, thinking about this drive so far for Colt, you know, he's Najee Harris has been the guy who's made the play so far. Najee Harris again now getting tattooed, but not till he gets the first down. That guy's a beast, Najee Harris. Yeah, he sure is. Uh, and Colt loves using his running back. He's the guy who's going to run it. He's going to pass it to him. Uh, it's a really good fit here. We have saw it in the uh, the pre-blip. And uh, now as you carry in the offense once again, all the way up to 35. So is George Pickens good in this game, or does he suck for a man receiver? I don't even know. Uh, I think he is pretty good. He's got the height and the jumping. He can ag catch guys. Yeah. So really the Steelers offense, Trevor Lawrence, Najee Harris, George Pickens, and he's got some other decent receivers. This Steelers offense really isn't bad. This Steelers team isn't bad. No, this is a very good team. This is a team that would have gone very high in the uh, the redraft if they weren't kept. And, I mean, you got Deontay Johnson over there. He's superstar, great routes. Uh, you really are only missing the quarterback, which he addressed quickly. And he got a some, great some quarterback, dividends. too. I mean, yeah, he got a great one. It, uh, anybody who takes the Steelers would be so happy with Trevor Lawrence. And uh, third and four, let's see. A lot of people like the quick stick route or the angle route here. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll out. Okay. Uh, looking to throw. He's looking. He's throwing. Oh, and it's incomplete. They say it's incomplete. Bad read. Should have been picked. Should have been picked. The only thing I really don't like about that play is, yes, it's confusing for the defense. It's just as confusing for the offense. It's yeah. so hard to see where anyone's going. When I hate players like that. <laughs> everyone in the same area of the field. If you can read them well, then, then you're going to probably get a completion every time. But I love just simple route concepts, easy to read. And, you know, guys like who throw a lot of interceptions will sometimes get those cloudied up plays and, and double moves. Let's watch this third down where he nearly throws a pick. Um, watch the drag route early. Watch uh, circle, I, I think it is. Boom, he's open right in the middle of the field. He throws it down the field, nearly gets picked. Uh, again, that's at least the second or third time this drive where Colt missed a uh, missed an open receiver. Yeah, and those are the things that you know really cost you in games. You're, you're watching this, and you just got to take the simple stuff. I get wanting to push it downfield. I fall victim to it quite often, but that's the reason you're Ooh, on there right there. another bad timing ball hawk. That's like a, it was like a mid-cycle patch that they released. I hate that feature. Yeah, I think it's to prevent people from just as soon as the ball is snapped holding triangle. I don't know if they do that, um, but I can't think of why else it would happen. Yeah. And I've, I've so like I don't really have many answers. It could just be a glitch that would certainly <laughs> check yeah. out for this game. Yeah, uh, little nice drag route there, a little juke in the mookin. Now he turned on the whole line. He turned on the burners, everybody. That guy's fast. Wow, look at the speed. He's got get away from Who the cuts. Speed. Who's number eight? I don't know. It's not Wilson, is it? That's Moore? Elijah Moore? It is Elijah Moore. Dude, he's fast. Jeez. I didn't realize he had speed like that. <coughs> so here we go. Zach Wilson in the pistol now. He's going to hand it off. Nice little run here. Both teams running the ball well. Yeah, that was a really nice cutback from DW. Uh, it looked like his initial path was pretty blocked off, but uh, cuts that it back to the other cutback. side. And 
yeah, it takes it for a nice first down. Yeah, I agree. That was really nicely done. Going in the I form, it looks like here. Um, you know, a lot of teams out of this I form, they'll, they'll run some PA. You could do a lot of stuff from I form. I, I personally love the I form. Let's see what DW does. It's a He's PA. just slamming up the middle. He throws. Ooh, it's caught. Play action. Running. Oh, nice. He had like three guys open here. Colt completely sold out to stop the run. And Death Wish showing some versatility. And I don't blame Colt for selling out on the run there. Uh, DW is a guy that can get kind of locked in to just first down, run the ball. I love play action there. Caught, uh, caught Colt over aggressive and gets a big gain out of it. Great yeah. play call. Yeah, I agree. Uh, as now DW's inside the three yard line, handing it off, tackled short, maybe almost lost a yard there. Hall now four rushes for 12 yards, I think, and he got like 10 yards on one carry. So maybe. Yeah, I was gonna say I think I think 11 of them were that. Uh, last carry before that one so <laughs> not great otherwise not great back to i form here i don't know i'd run here oh this is where you hit me with that little out route yeah, constantly exactly yeah <laughs> and he gets a route. run and he oh he runs into his own guy he had the touchdown oh no he was in there oh lord have mercy let's look at this oh, replay <laughs> i think he could have just oh, i mean he was i think he could just bounce this outside or inside. Or either. inside. Just just not into your guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just anywhere else, but your offensive lineman's back. Oh, it's that that's terrible. Bad. That was bad. That, he's QB sneak this. Third and goal. Just he's going to hand a dive off, and he scores. I mean, that was a tight hole he ran through, Ooh. and he squeezed through that like, you know what? I don't know what. Yeah, great. Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> it's a family-friendly show here, Prime. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, good vision on that though, um, and good patience. I think I would have cut that up into the into the middle after the handoff, and I think he would have gotten there. But I uh, waited the extra second. Hole opens up, and uh, I mean, he just sneaks it right in there. Nice drive by DW after a crappy start to this game. Yeah, that was a great response. Now Colt forty five. This guy has been in the SML for years. He's he's been a part of a lot of games, and. This, he's been he's been ready for this moment. Now he's in the prime time light, you know, uh, in, in under this under the lights. Let's see how he how he reacts. Has he ever had a game commented before? I don't think commentated? so. Commentated? He's got circle. Oh, he caught it! What a throw, Trevor Lawrence. And there's uh there's George Pickens, that big body guy, cuts in front of that, boxes out the uh, the cornerback on the outside, and really just great throw and catch. So sometimes guys, you know. Like you watch college football or NFL, and certain t Cowboys constantly played, and, and they don't deserve it. Maybe there's guys in the SML who get commentated, and they don't deserve it anymore. Maybe Colt 45 is the new new kid in town. Maybe he's the Bengals. Maybe he's the Jaguars, and he and he's earning it. This is his chance to earn that spot. Yeah, and I, I would love to see it. I think that's one thing that's really great about this show and this format is that we can feature some different guys, and you know, hey. Maybe we see guys that, you know, we've got, we talk about Doink being anti-clutch and, and Meats being the folding chair. Maybe Colt's somebody that needs to be in the lights, you know? Yeah. And, oh, look at that throw by Colt 45, everybody. This kid, dime. this guy, he's swinging down the field at full force. Nice throw by Trevor. Yeah, I mean, that's just an absolute dot. Timing was beautiful. That was an extremely tight window with the safeties closing in. And uh, he just delivers that at the perfect time for a huge gain. All the way down to the 24. Yeah, Colt looking good. Now, don't don't get too cocky and throw a pick, though, bud. Throw it away. I like that curl route. Didn't take it. I think I, I respect him throwing it away. He was he was he was panicking. He was backing up. Yeah, if you don't if you don't throw the curl at the right time, it's pick six central. Yeah. He's getting past happy here. Now I don't like this, but we'll see. Yeah, Najee's been uh, been killing it for you. I think you gotta throw there's a Najee run here. Nice. That nice. works. Nice. He's trying to show off Trevor, and I respect that. He is. He knows I'm in the booth. He knows I'm rooting for Trevor, mm -hmm. and you know what? I'm all about it. Keep slinging it, kid. Yeah, yeah. This is – this is. <laughs> I, honestly, I've played Colt 45, obviously, a few times, and I I think he's actually kind of good if he doesn't throw those crazy, dumb interceptions. Like, he's actually – he's got a good defense. Trevor Lawrence, hold on. Read option. Go down, buddy. Jeez. Gets hit. Game at seven. You know, that's one thing with Lawrence that a lot of people don't realize, that he's 
sneaky fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I would never run a ton of read options because I wanted to keep the element of surprise, but when you do it, a lot of times the defense will commit to the running back, and you can get good chunks like that. Yeah, yeah, he's Jim Rat. Oh, God, not there. Sneaky fast. Jim Rat, I think he needs to be about a foot shorter for that. Yeah. Uh, so that's like that classic 5'8", five, 5'9", five, receiver. That, that's yeah. your gym rat. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's calling a quarterback draw Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. This. Oh. And he just gets brought down by two guys in the third. <laughs> uh, we're going to show the replay here after this field goal because I want to show you guys something funny I saw. Um, two guys come in and hit Trevor. And a third, just late after he's getting tackled, <laughs> dives in at his kneecap. So we're going we're gonna to watch this kick, make sure nothing crazy happens. It's good. Now, check this out. Trevor's going to run this here. Two guys are going to hit him, and then some guy just comes in late. Watch this. Here we go. All right, here he comes. Boom, late, right in the knees. I mean, that was just great. I think it was almost better for Colt that he got hit by the defensive lineman because <laughs> yeah. he was running directly at TW's <laughs> He user. was going to get blasted <laughs> yeah, in the, in the rain. Ugly. What What could go wrong? <laughs> The DW stands tall in the red zone twice now. Both these guys' defense is actually kind of good. Yeah. Yeah, DW is somebody I, I don't like playing at all because his defense is tough, and if he's not turning the ball over on offense, you could maybe Oh, he turned it over on offense. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> oh, the announcer's jinx <laughs> to a defensive lineman. <laughs> wow. That was, a, that was a bad... Oh, he, never, he just never saw that guy never in coverage. Saw him. I mean, never saw him. You jinxed him so bad. That was probably the worst so one I've seen in a while. That was that was horrible. Oh. <laughs> now it's Colt. He's gonna throw it to the tight end, I think. He's looking. He's looking. Oh God. Oh, he's threw it away a little early. Yeah, he needed a couple extra steps there. Right idea, but you know what's interesting? A little trigger happy. DW had the contain on there, and it worked really well. Uh, he adjusted, and now we got second and twenty-six. That looks like a loss. Yeah, that's, that's a huge loss. Does that look super far or what? Holy cow. Yeah, it sure does. Here we go, Trevor. Back to throw. I don't I consider a run here. What a throw. Holy cow. Oh, that was a laser. Yeah, I thought nice that was timing. swatted for sure. Really good timing. Yeah. That's a that's an RD squiggly route. He loves those. Hey, uh, we got NYT in chat. We got Ben's Coop. What's up? We got uh, Jay, Jay Sama. 19, Bin Laden, 1913. We got uh, oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, Jeez. Uh, uh, Trevor on third and eight throwing. Oh, poor accuracy. Yeah, and, and that happens. Uh, rookie Trevor, every now and then he just sells on you. The rain's not going to help. Um, that's unfortunate because I, I think he had him. I think that was the right read. Yeah, I think he threw it on time. Um, X might have been open for the knees. Your first down. It was gonna be tight, but hey, he's up yeah. by he's up by two, nine to seven for you score Gami folks. Yeah, eventually he's gonna to want to punch one of these things in. Uh, great field position there, and, and couldn't really capitalize on it. Um, Got to keep holding on on defense, and hopefully one of these drives he can capitalize on. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, man, I bought a, about a gallon of lemonade from Chick Fil A, literally, and my my tongue's starting to burn from it. I think I've drank so much over the last day. Say that one more time. I had to get up and oh, shut my door real quick. Um, no, everybody heard, and I don't want to repeat it again. Thanks, so. Um, All right, sorry. fair enough. No, we're not telling you anything. Um, so, so, Wilson. It, it can be your guys' little secret. It's, it's our little secret. Sorry. So Solid run there. Not a bad run. And really, DW hasn't played bad other than that um, misread there on last drive. Yeah, and he probably should have had, you know, first drive, finished with a pick. He got pretty unlucky with that yeah. uh, that one drop. Yeah. Of course, he also did almost throw a user right after that. Oh, so that I like that out. read. Oh, man. Oh, he, no. He got screwed. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's where Josh Allen to Zach Wilson really hurts you. That's great play call, good protection, everything you could have wanted. That guy's probably gone with the speed these wide receivers have. Perfect that read. One. Good timing yeah. against the Blitz. Here we go. This looks like another blitz. It's not. Oh, he has a shake. Oh, he just ran right the middle. He had the shake in route, but he that works. He's yeah, seen a huge <laughs> that works. The middle. That that could have been a scenario where after that last throw, he's like, you know what? I'm not risking it. I have a free first down yeah. here. I'm just gonna go get it. Yeah, I don't blame him. 
Because, I mean, if you get an inaccurate there, you have to punt it back, and Colt has all the time in the world to get points. Yeah. And he's running again up the middle and getting down. Yeah, that works. Um, Got to make sure you're not getting too, uh, too gun-shy here. He did have at least two routes open there that he could have thrown. Uh, so hopefully this doesn't turn into something where now he's just he's psyched out and he's too worried to throw the ball. Yeah. But uh, if you're getting yards, you're getting yards. Uh, Noel says Colt picking defensive plays before DW picks his plays. That's a that's a common thing amongst guys who kind of struggle actually. We'll talk about that after this play here. On second and four. Yeah, and watch, watch these safeties. These safeties are crisscross. Yeah, they are. And it's a this run. This could be. Oh, he's lucky. Yeah, he is. So I see that a lot too. And what do you think about that, guys who call their plays defensively before the offense plays? Explain to me like I'm five of how that's not a good thing. Yeah, so you're just kind of taking away the advantage you have. Um, you're eliminating your chance to match your personnel, so you could just be going out in unbalanced sets. You could be going out with you know, a run defense against what is a very clear pass. You could be in a base defense. You could end up in a situation where you have no cornerbacks out there and the guy's coming out with four wide receivers. You're just not going to match up well. Linebacker on a receiver is going to be, uh, going to be an L all day long for the defense. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Is uh, uh, He's back to throw now. Nice drag route, good completion, getting out of bounds. Oh, staying in bounds and getting hit instead. Um, <laughs> but, but, hey, first down. Yeah, I mean, you have three timeouts. Getting out of bounds is not uh, super important here. You can kind of melt the rest of this half down and, and get your points at the end. So I, I don't hate that. You do not really want to risk the fumble there on yeah. the hit stick in the rain. I'm a avoid hits if, if necessary or if possible kind yeah. of guy. Oh, what All a right. throw. Holy macaroni. Jeez. End goes down at the one. That was almost perfect, honestly. I mean, he threw that thing. Actually, Colt should have had the pick. Looking back at that, Colt just jacked up his user. Yeah, he just kept running backwards. Uh, never stopped or hit strafe or really did anything. Just kept running and <laughs> DW times it flawlessly. Oh. And goes down to the one. Here we go. Hand off. Stopped. This is probably benefiting DW more than Colt still. Man, this is, what, three times now it has felt like Bryce Hall is just yeah. in the end zone already and gets tackled? Yeah, Hall is getting he, – he's not hungry for that end zone enough. No, he's certainly not. Maybe it's maybe he's not mashing the X button as much as Bomber did. Yeah, Bomber mashed it. Oh, I mean, you you would hear it in the, yeah. the commentary. A big hit. Wow. That's a phenomenal play from Colt. That is an incredible user defense. Well, we went from talking. You see, this is why people, and I'm one of them, say, oh, wow, yeah, tackle the one. Good for DW. You can mount the clock and score here. Well, now it's third and five because he got pushed back by four yards. And, hey, a touchdown does a whole lot more than three here. Yeah, if you get tackled at the one, you really don't want to end up losing the yards. That's when maybe the QB sneak or the fullback dive comes into play. Watch the run. Where the even middle. if you don't get in, you don't lose yards. Mm -hmm. Oh, He's boy. Running. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. DW. Oh, oh, decision time. DW is clocking his head right now. He's messed up. Goal line. Now, how much clock's going to come off here? He does have the timeout, so I think, what, Just 10 seconds? Almost none. Might as well wait till like, two seconds. Yeah, I think you wait till. I would do it at four. Everybody's ready at two. Here we go. Oh, Pitch. Wow. Whoa, holding. It's coming back. Oh, no. Now I think you have to take your field goal. Yeah, definitely. Fourth down and 11. Yeah, 10 yards. You definitely have to take your field goal. Wow, what a call. Now, would you, would you just take a timeout to be safe? Uh, I would have, but... Cause I'm yeah, just, just to make sure. But... Wow. I think technically the clock by default stops on the, the penalty, I believe. Yeah, I think it does, but I just don't trust Madden. Yeah, no, that's that's actually a completely reasonable <laughs> reasonable fear. Hey, we got a good game on our hands, 10-9. to 9. Yeah, so it's been a good game. Both guys really playing pretty well. Uh, we've seen about one mistake each on offense. Um, maybe one or two more that haven't been punished, but uh, we'll, we'll take that. Been a good defensive battle, and I'm excited to see how the second half goes. I think I think I'm still sticking with Colt. Uh, at some point, Colt's gonna have to unleash Trevor, and I, I think this could yeah. be the time we see him just really show. He's like, "Hey, SML, I traded for this guy. I want to show you why I traded for this guy." So let's see if he's gonna open up a deeper passing playbook and really unload some some deep bombs. 
Yes, he immediately goes directly to inside handoff, so it looks yeah. like we're not going to see it on the first play here. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Uh, so here we go. First and ten for the uh... – oh, he's going to – he's he's audible, and he's going to take a uh -oh. shot down the field. He wants it. Go dart one. Oh, he threw it. And he he's got it. Missed him. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, just way too, way too far. I mean, he was under – Immense amounts of pressure. Yeah. Did you see that hit on Trevor, by the way? It was yeah, he got hit. clobbered. <laughs> I mean, he really threw that thing down the field. That was exciting. Yeah. This is another just blatant man blitz. Oh, oh, he's got him. Running down the wow. sideline. Nice play. Perfect play call against the blitz. Little halfback screen there. Got the one block he needed. Najee off to the races. Yeah, that was. I'm a, always way too scared to call a screen against the blitz. I know it's like the the smart play call, but yeah. I'm always too scared to do it. I well, check he, out every time. He threw that at the like perfect time. Yeah. We're seeing something from Colt this drive. Even on the play where he missed the throw, it wasn't even his fault. No, it was a good read. He uh, really did it perfectly. He just didn't have the time. Obviously, yeah. offensive line in season one for the Steelers is a is a weakness, and yeah. we saw it on that. But other than that, I mean. Reading the field well and good play calls so far. And the Jets have some good, you know, defensive linemen too. Yeah, I believe he has, uh, I think, 12 sacks through three games. So these guys can get to the quarterback. A little RPO there. Interesting. It actually led him up the field. Did you see that? I was going to say that was a poor accuracy throw that was actually great for Colt. <laughs> yeah, it actually just kind of helped take his momentum. I haven't seen anything like that before. Yeah, because, I mean, most of the time they kind of nerfed those RPOs by making it so that the, the receiver never gets the run into the catch. He always takes a second to get his speed up, but, I mean, that was beautiful for him. Is it just me or is Colt kind of calling, like, a nice drive right now? Really mixed. Like, this is like an offensive coordinator, like, in a rhythm or something. I, I've never seen Colt yeah, call plays. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's, like, really calling plays out here. Yeah, calling plays well. He's reading the field well. He's a lot of confidence right now. And John Franklin Myers and the injury for the Jets, that's a big one. Big run stuffer up the middle. Yeah, I mean, this is... Everything's coming up Colt right now. Yeah, I mean, this is... I mean, he's calling plays out here, boys. Let's see what he does here. Th second and five. Back to throw. He's got square for touchdown. He throws it! He got him! Touchdown! That's the prime Laser. play. Let's go, baby. That is... He beats the cover, too. Beautiful ball. Timed perfectly. Trevor Lawrence slinging it. What a drive for Colt 45. That I'm impressed. That was literally. Oh, he's going for two. Buckle up. He's going for the two. The drive's not Let's done go, yet. baby. Let's go. Colt out here it's on Colt's prime time. X is open. He throws it to Triangle. He was open too. A perfect drive by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Colt 45 in prime time. Just beautiful. Colt, I tip my hat to you. That was Could really. have asked for anything better on that drive. I don't think anybody could have defended that drive. No. No, DW had some, some good play calls. He got pressure. He got everything he could have wanted. And I Colt. Mean, Colt just diced him up. That was just great offense. Yeah. Holy cow. If Colt plays like that, buckle up. Yeah. we oof. AFC North in some trouble. Uh, Colt might be the Super Bowl favorite. Yeah. I mean, shoot. I don't want to play him. No. So here we go. DW is going to have to find a way to answer that. And he's going to open up with a PA of his own now. A little, you, if you can do this, I can do that. And he gets sacked. Yeah, I mean, hey, credit to Colt. That's a great user play. That guy was going to be open on the uh, the deeper cross. Colt stuck right with him, took everything away, and the pressure gets home. Yeah, Colt really stepping up this game. And DW hasn't played bad either, but right now, Colt up by seven. Yeah, right now, I think Colt's just had, just had a little bit more. Here we go. Death Witch back to throw. Nice throw. That was – oh, he fumbled it. Big hit, though. User hits oh, no. it. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a good read, too. Good read, good timing. That, that one hurts if you're DW. That really hurts. Anytime a guy breaks a tackle and is kind of in a compromising position. It's terrifying. You yep, get nervous. It's terrifying. You just wish they'd go Especially down. Especially that, yeah, that big boy tight end. Like, yeah, I appreciate it, man, but you can just go down for me. It's fine. I'm not going to be mad. Yeah. Well, now here's Colt. What's he going to do? He's going he's gonna to throw it here. I was going to say that I liked the run call. but Nice completion. First down. This is incredible. What do I know? Colt, you just do you, my guy. This is honestly some of the best offense we've seen in SML Live since we've done it. Yeah, it really has been. We, we've done some good players. Ooh. Here we go. Three tight ends. Testing the run defense now without a yeah. – actually, it looks like Franklin Myers might be back. I think he's 95. Yeah. 
Um, so we got a 17 to 10 lead. Steelers up with the ball and the rain in a former Heinz Field. Now I don't really care what the name of it is. I don't think anybody does. Yeah, it's sad. DW needs to stand here. He's got to hold the three. Let's see. Will Colts play calling come to an end? Throwing. Nice quick read. Oh, he got screwed. Yeah, he sure did. That's rookie Trevor. The rain, that's a nightmare because that's a big gain, too. He was going to be yeah. third and two, third and one. I mean, Before shoot, I with see. Najee, he maybe just breaks the tackle. Let's see here. I think oh, he play earlier. Play. He had yeah, circle open earlier. He has him again. He throws it. Nice read. Perfect read. Great timing, too, right before he gets to that outside corner. That was beautifully timed. I mean, Colt 45 out here making throws. Now, I wouldn't call a pitch here. I would have. No, and the pitch is what we saw the holding on earlier. Yeah, I would have just done a little more. It's a little less risky to lose yardage. But, hey, game's a yard. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Probably the long way to get there, but we'll take it. Fast moving, uh, NYT, you're pointing out that you called Trevor a rookie. Um, I pretty much don't consider the season with uh, Urban Meyer as a season. Yeah. I, I respect that. A Colts in. Yeah, Colts. Colts. Colts up. Colts up. Big. This is this is turning into a game now where DW is going to have to channel. Okay, what's what's Stano's chat telling them right now? If, if you know, I'm sure this happens from time to time. Game's on the line. A Thanos guy allies down by two scores. What are you guys telling your, your brethren? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a keep your head up kind of thing right now. DW especially has a tendency to get pre down on his offense and his game. Uh, this is the kind of point where he can take himself out of it. You got 240 left in the third. This game is definitely not over by any stretch. You have a good defense. Just play some good offense. Play your game. Go put a good drive together, get seven, and, and you're totally fine. In this Throws game. it up, double coverage, intercepted again. <laughs> Just completely. That is not. That is not <laughs> what was going to be suggested in the first <laughs> chat. I mean, he just completely <laughs> threw that all up late. Not good. I re I respect going for it, but you have to know when it's not there. You got to tuck that ball. You got to hit one of the check downs. You got to get outside and throw it away. That was the last thing you could afford in that scenario. And he just said, you know what, I'm throwing this no matter what, and he paid for it. You know, people do that from time to time. It's only a two-score game, and there's still it's still a third quarter. I mean, plenty of time. Yeah, you didn't you didn't need it all back there. You had time to put a drive together, and now you really dig yourself a hole. Man, Colt 45 has come out to play today. He has. I mean, a lot of credit to Colt. He's played a great game. Um, he had one, two maybe bad reads early but he got those out of the system and since then he's been locked in nyt's asking at what point does somebody get yeeted from thanos club it's a blood pact you're in there for life wow you know that's interesting i uh i almost signed to thanos one time but i did you almost did we were very close to that agreement the contracts they were drawn up papers were on the table we were exchanging figures everything covered faz he picked off he just he just intercepted him He's running down the sideline. this thing, DW. Oh, he makes a man miss. Juking and mooking. Oh, and he's spooking. Oh, yeah. uh, he's, why did he run to the left? I don't know. Touchdown. Oh, no. <laughs> but he's in there. That's fine. I'm going to have to ask him after this. What is this why, extra why, the, why the cut to the left? I mean, you literally, there is no guys if you run straight or to the right. He went to the only area of the field where there are guys. Look at this. All right. I, I like this cut here. I like this cut here. Yeah, it was a great shimmy. Just run yeah, straight. Don't don't, don't start after. going that way. Like, what are you doing that for? <laughs> Did you... know, maybe a maybe a stick drift. Yeah, something. <laughs> and that play right there is why you didn't need to force it on the, the yeah. drive before. It yeah. doesn't matter now because it's pretty much like you went down and scored. But that right there is the reason that you should have just stuck with your offense. You should have stuck with you know what you're comfortable in. You didn't need to get it all in once because you have good defense. And right there, he got pressure. He locked up everything. Colt forced his first pass in a while, and you took advantage. Quick uh, quick flat route here. First down. Nice read. That is something that is a, a very weak point of my own Madden game, personally. I never see those. Your running back is just wide open immediately at the snap, and you take yeah. it. I never hit those. You know, I've watched some people get mad at those when uh, people take those pretty, pretty quick like that. But if you... 
If you recognize a man blitz and there's literally no, not a soul on the running back, you have to hit him hot. Otherwise, you're going to get set. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't really get mad at throwing to the open receiver. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, kind it's of a, a point of football, you yeah, know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Colt trying to get it all back now. Let's see what happens here. Throws. Caught. Great time. And that's the elite route running from Deontay Johnson. With a lot of other receivers, they don't make that cut sharp enough, and, and they get jumped or at least get swatted. Yeah. Uh, elite route running like that. Know your personnel. Great ball. Yeah, it was nice. Trevor now driving downfield. What, are they putting you to sleep? Is that a yawn over there? Man, I'm tired. I usually take a nap right now. Oh, man, time. it's a good game. <laughs> He's going to, ooh, poor accuracy again. I believe he got hit. I think that was a, it didn't say it, but I think that was pretty close to a throw out of sack. Yeah, you're right. Let's see what yeah, Colt does here. The, have the stream up on the right side of me, so. Yeah, I can see it there. He, he yeah, was got, hit on that. I've got like two screens pulled up. It's it's pretty. We're we're high tech here at SML Live. Really, this has been this idea of a weekly show where guys just kind of commentate, do a pregame show, and shoot the breeze during the games. This has been talked about for years in the SML uh, league, and this is really the first time it's really been attempted. And hey, we're pulling it off, man. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This is, uh, I mean, Mondays are a day that I pretty much do nothing. So it, it's been a nice boost to my Mondays. Nice to see some some different guys get the spotlight in the SML. And it's really been a lot of fun. So thanks for taking this on with me. Yeah, you know, I, I worked all day. I had to speed home. I had to take out the dog and load up and get at the graphics. But, yeah, it's been a blast uh, to do this on SML Live today. Uh, no, just kidding. I, I enjoy it. It's, it's fun to commentate. The different guys uh we did clinky and dump last week just the rivalry games we've done qp and bomber meets and gutta obviously colt and uh you know a dw just just really i don't even think we've had any uh, repeats yet just just a wide variety of guys i mean a quarter of the league we've done already yeah it's been good and i'm, I'm excited to keep it up and hopefully we'll continue to get uh get some more new guys hopefully people can start to realize that you know, this is going down at the same time on Mondays every week. Yeah. Or same time range. Yeah. And uh, start to schedule some games in there, give us some choices, and yeah, keep seeing some different guys. Preferably after 5:30 for us. If you if you guys are trying to commentate, I see Finn's in chat. You know, D Muse would be a good one to get on. Um, you know, mm -hmm. around this time, just make schedule your game, and if we see it and if we like it, we'll do it. And uh, it's that easy. Um, so back to this game, down by 10. Big drive for DW. Yeah, and again, six minutes left. He does not need it all in one play. I did like that he ran the ball in first down there, so hopefully not falling into that trap. Yeah. Good read there. A lot more Ooh. patient. Nice read Tough there. Drop there. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah. That was like way after. Yeah, that like almost looked to the point where it could have been a fumble. He had the yeah. ball so long. If that Madden was... was actually like realistic, they would have called that a fumble. Yeah, I think they would have. He took like a step or two before he dropped oh. that thing. Safety's flip flopped. You can hit square for touchdown. Uh -oh. Square was there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no. Faz. They gave him he the first. He gets he gets the first, but my goodness. Let's that watch was... this replay. Watch square here. You're gonna look at the cover two seam anyway there, but the safety's flip flop. Now watch him run butt naked. Boom. Touchdown. Yeah, and nobody was getting over there because the safety that was supposed to be covering that side of the field was on the literal other side of the field. So I mean he was he could have underthrown it by seven yards. He still yeah, would have scored. That's sad. Anyway, he missed the read, and he's looking to throw. Now he gets hit. Probably best he got hit there. I think that would have been intercepted. Yeah, because I don't think he was taking that check down there. I think he was forcing that to the tight end. So it's a good thing that one hit the turf. Yeah, yeah, you're right. D Muse says, hey, you know, uh, kind of ignores us commentating his game and says, if you guys ever need – oh, fumble, hold on. It's still on the ground. No, oh, it's picked up. Oh, he's got there. the ball and he gets the first down. Oh, he's running. He's moving. <laughs> Big boy. What the? Wow, that was uh, if I'm DW, man, I'm going conservative. That's twice now in this game you fumbled. I haven't seen him pull off a juke one time. I think you got to go to conservative here as you're trying to get these points. DW going to send a 10-page apology for that fumble there in the first down. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about Madden sucking, guys. Yep. So. And that's a spot where those quick uh, quick running back throwers can backfire on you. You throw it to the hard flat side, yeah. and you're dead yeah, immediately. Yeah, if, if you miss the read, you're in trouble. Typically, the best way to tell if, if you know, 
if you know if it's man coverage. That's really the only time I do it. Yeah. Um, kind of just really taking a lot of check downs here. At some point, I think you do got to attack a little more down the field. There's four minutes left. Yeah, I think he was a second late on that read. Uh, if he throws that a little quicker to the guy's break, he could probably cut it up field for a little more yards. Mm -hmm. But I think he, uh, well, I mean, he definitely is going to need to start going a little deeper here soon. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And um, Deuce Close is not really the formation for that. Here we go. Looking, throwing, nearly intercepted. And he has, I don't think he's in field goal range either. Keep in mind, it's only a 10 point game. He could have got a field goal. And I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I think he's in a position where he kind of has to go for it, even though it's not a great spot, because you certainly don't want to punt the ball away. I don't think you're going to get two more possessions. And a field goal from here is probably pretty brutal. Yeah, he's he's going to drop I want to I want to see Flood from this formation. Look at this row. He'll have the corner. Nice read. I don't know that's how far I'm in front of you, but he got the first no, down. No, that's beautiful. Yep, beautifully done. That was the play, too. That was Flood. That was Flood. Drew Flood. Great call, DW. Great call, great read. Well done. Yeah. DW. Biggest back play to of the throw. game, too. Oh, Watch. holding. Just throw it away or something. Oh, he's going to run it. Don't know if I'd risk that <laughs> with the uh, with the hold on the field. Yeah. Risky. But I guess it's better than just chucking it to nobody. Yeah, I agree. 100%. And for if you were to throw intentional ground, then you lose the down. So I guess, <coughs> I guess that yeah. was probably a good. Yeah. Good decision. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm and now he's back to throw again. Oh, the same play. Bold. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Tried it. Gets back to the line at least. So you gotta keep in mind, you can get a you can get a field goal here. You don't want to lose that. Yeah, and you almost consider maybe sooner rather than later as the clock ticks. Throws and, oh, he missed caught. First, first he th threw it late, but we'll take it. Yeah, he probably should have thrown that. Yeah, a half yeah. second earlier. Yep. Mm, yeah, third and three though. Now he's really, he's really wanting to touch down this drive, because you yeah. can you can cheat and you can go for an onside if you want to, BQ and all that. You get a touchdown. Yeah, you still have all three timeouts. Ooh, mm, had the halfback mm. curl through it and got hit, throwing it across the other side. It's kind of nice that this fall is incomplete. I hope he's not going for this. What is he doing? Take take your three. Take your three. Take your three, DW. Because the clock stops with seven seconds left, which means you're going to get a field goal off and the kickoff before the two-minute warning, most likely. He's going for it. Oh, man. All right. So screw all that. Forget it. Don't worry about the clock. We're just going to go for it and see what happens. This is SML Live. Deathwish is trying to prove a point, I think, to the league that he's not Mr. Nice Guy. Everyone thinks that, they, hey, you want this guy to babysit your kids and, and take your dog for a walk. No. He's here to win. He says, hey, man, I'm 0-3. I'm going for it. I'm going for it all. Back what to throw. He got to lose? Looking. Hit as he throws. Caught anyway. What's the spot going to be? What's First down. First down. Holy. What a, what a play. I mean, under pressure, running out of time, getting hit as he throws the ball. Heck of a catch by Ty Conklin. Holds on to it. Poof. We got some drama. Yeah, wow. Death Wish is kind of showing me a little bit of something that I didn't think he had in him. Wow. That was clutch. That was clutch. I'd say. I go. was taking my three there for sure. Kicking Me the too. ball back and playing some defense. But Hey, back to DW throw. got some stones. Looking. Throws a quick drag route. Get out of bounds. Doesn't. Now that clock is going to become an issue. Yeah, I don't love the drag there. Got to snap it quick here. Yep. He's going to run it. I knew he was going to run it. I knew it. I knew he was too as soon as I saw the formation. Man, he's I lost a he lot of that. time. Yeah, and he's no huddling. He's not picking his own plays. This is tough. Look at this. A minute 20 now. This is like watching the Ravens last night. Back to throw. He's got. Yeah, what was that? He throws. What's the call? First and goal. The bounds at the one. My goodness. How many times have you been at the one today? Patience. Too many to have not gotten in. <laughs> Man. Play it safe here, DW. Can you be sneak this thing? You're so close. Man, if he did get... He's no, in sneak territory. One more tackle, and that clock just goes again, though. It's just so dangerous. Yep. Oh, he, he runs. scored. He's but, in there. Let's go. I think you got to go for the that's, onside. That's a nice time for... Yeah, I think you do, too. 
And even if you don't get it, you use your timeouts and you set up Colt. I, I don't know. You can. You have three timeouts. You can kick it deep. Here's my thinking. You set up Colt. It's a long field goal in the rain if he has to kick it. And you get the ball around midfield. You need a block or something. But now. Yeah. No, he's. He I, I don't hate going deep here. It's going to help your field position for when you get the ball back. Assuming you get the ball back. We'll find out. We will find out. That's a risky play. Holy. I would not have done that. <laughs> No, <laughs> I get not wanting to use the, the corny kickoff returns, but I would have caught that one and, and sat down after a few yards. Like the people who let it bounce, like, let, have some common sense here. Like, if the ball is beyond the five-yard line, take it, take the freaking kick back. Like, you know, we're <laughs> not, this, it's still football here. <laughs> you know, have some common yeah. sense. Like, you know, you're not a bad guy if a guy short kicks you. Oh, he went out of bounds. Yeah, that was big. Got seven yards, though, and that's, that's not good for uh, DW. No. No, he's gonna need he's gonna need some sheds here. Is he gonna throw this? In the gun, huh? He's not gonna throw it. No. There you go. Oh, huge hole. Oh, oh DW got hit on the block. And that's now just, he used a timeout. I think he's gonna yeah. He's gonna have maybe twelve seconds I left. Thought, I thought DW was gonna shoot that. <coughs> he might have twelve seconds left. If he can Maybe less than that if you can make a play here. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's probably over, realistically. I haven't seen Colt turn on conservative, though, so that's something It is raining. And it is raining, nice and he's, hit. he's got everybody in the backfield. That play ended very quickly. It took two seconds off the clock. Yep. That was a play where I was worried he was going to get stood up, and then, you know, the guy comes in with the punch animation, and it's just yeah. a whole mess. Oh, yeah. I mean, Why is he in... He's in play action pass. Oh, He's in play go. action pass, folks. We got He's a game. Play action. Let's see what Gold Colt 45 got up his sleeve today, baby. This is Trevor this Lawrence. Is like Trevor time. Play fake. Looking. He's doing it. He's throwing. Oh, wow. That He's was... a psycho. He got like no yards. That was not worth it at all. <laughs> no, that was not nearly as exciting as it could have been. I thought he was going to throw a touchdown there. <laughs> well, if you throw it once, you might as well throw it again. He's back in pass. Oh yeah, I love this. Is this is people like Colt Forty Five is why we is worth commentating his game. So you what? Forget SML Live. This is SML Insanity. Yep. Here we go. Oh, DW is in just a blatant man blitz. The too. running back might be I wide think. open. He's covered. Everybody's covered. Everybody's covered. Is he gonna take the sack? The oh my God! Someone's hurt. Someone's hurt. Decline oh, it. It's Jadavian Clowney. <laughs> and that stops the clock. That stops it's the clock. Jadavian Clowney all over again. This is wild. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all the time left. And we have a legacy drive. I'm nervous. Braxton Berrios is still in the Jets. Nice kick return there. This, this is a good return. He's at the 45. 38 seconds left. <coughs> this is plenty of time. Oh, this is crazy. We could be we could be charting overtime territory for the first time on <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe it. I never thought I'd see something quite as crazy as Clowny, and it still wasn't as crazy as that, but it's pretty wow. dang close. That was close. That was a heck of a play. Here we go. I'm just nervous that DW's gonna throw a pick. Here we go. Back to yeah, throw. I'm a little nervous. Throws! Oh my god. That sure almost was. I think if that was on target, I think it was a pick. <laughs> he had a, I think he had the tight end wide open. Or no, the running, back. Was the, the running back. Yeah, he had the yeah. angle route for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I seen someone in the middle and I forgot who it was. Yeah, I, I can understand not throwing that just because time purposes. Yeah. Well, you need 20 yards. He needs, maybe not yeah. 30 yards. Maybe. Here we go. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, he gets out of it! Holy cow! Get down! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh god! I thought he was gonna get hit. Oh, we gotta get. You gotta, you gotta spike it! You gotta spike it! Now what do you do? Oh God! Um, I do a I do a halfback dive, go down half immediately, dive and, then, and, and spike. then a quick spike. Yeah. And honestly, no, he's kicking it here. I, I don't I don't hate the call. It's not going to be iced. There's too much time left on the clock. I think it has to be under 25 seconds. So I think it will be iced actually. Oh, I thought it was 10. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. All right. Oh God! I don't know anything about Matt. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. This piss, piss, piss. to tie the game for potential overtime. Jets down three. Death wish lining up. Snap. Ball down. Kick on the way. He missed, he missed it. it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, man. Just a long yeah. kick. 
That's a long kick. The halfback dive was the play. And the wind was against him in the rain. I, yeah, I didn't realize that in the rain. Boy, what a game. What a game. Best game we've done yet. Yeah, it has been. Uh, this this was a blast. We saw everything. We saw for as great a game as Colt played, we got to talk about that last the clock. Uh, that was bad, dude. I mean, that was not good. But No, and I mean, I see what he was trying to do by taking the sack, but the, the fact that we were in that position to begin with. <laughs> oh, my fun. goodness. That, that was, was crazy. That was good TV. Uh, well, guys. It sure was. That was SML Live. Uh, every Monday we do a show, Faz and I. We do a pregame. We talk about the SML League events, preview the game, commentate it once a week. If you want to be on, just schedule your game for Monday right around this time, and we'll try to do your game. Unless if there's another game, then we'll do that game. So, all right, guys. Thanks for listening, watching, and have a great day.